Next into the tank is a solution to a hairy problem. Hi Sharks, my name is Jennifer. My name is Gifford and we're from Salem, Utah. We're the inventors of the drain wig and we're here seeking a $300,000 investment in exchange for 5% equity wow. in our company. Oh wow. boy. Woo. Sharks, we have a problem. We actually have five problems. We have five daughters. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, you're dead. Wow. <laughs> we love our daughters. That is not the problem. It is their hair. <laughs> they are professional drain cloggers. Oh Lord. These five girls, all sharing one shower, equal the wet hairball nightmare. Sharks, let's be real. Cleaning the shower drain can be a major source of contention in the home because it is a dirty, disgusting job that nobody wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> Simply guide your drain wig down the drain. It prevents the clogs that would normally get stuck in the pipe. After two to four months, it removes right through the drain cover without you ever having to touch the nasty hair. It has a stainless steel chain with colorful rubber whiskers that trap the hair. We have two retail designs. The drain wig for the shower has a cute flower cap and the drain wig for the bathtub anchors to the side of the tub with a suction cup, which allows you to use your stopper as usual. Thank you, Sharks. Our daughters will now give each of you samples of the drain wig. So what did you do in a previous life that you got five daughters? I don't know. Thank it you. was destiny. I get uh, for sure Hi, destiny. Thank you. This is one for Lori. Thank you very oh, much. Um, thank They're you. both for me. Good job up there. How did you come up with this idea? So what happened was yeah. this invention was a complete accident. OK? So we're weirdos. We floss and brush our teeth in the shower. And one day, <laughs> I looked down in the drain, and there was something brown, and it was moving, and I was like, Gifford, there's a gopher in the drain. And kid you not, he pulled this cover off and on the end of it was this long piece of dental floss. And on the end of it was this massive wad of hair. We were solving our problem and we were like, hey, wait a second, we, we could make a product after, out of this. What are you making it for and what are you selling it for? It's, it's being made for about $1.20 uh, for the uh, double pack. What does the double pack go for? Double pack goes for $9.99. Margins are excellent. Where is this available right now? Well, it's available. All the big box stores. <gasps> Walmart, Walmart. Big box stores. Uh, Bed Bath. Bed Bath. Um, it's everywhere. So the You're well distributed. Yes. We yes. are. Just give me the numbers. OK, we've sold 14.2 million in retail. Wow. wow. Whoa. Wow. That's a lot. Was this an infomercial? Yes. yes. If you're everywhere and you're really doing great, why, why are, you are you here? here? Oh, we, we are so glad you, you asked that asked. question. We went to trade shows, okay? We, we didn't know anything about this industry. And so one day I came home from a trade show. A Couple days later, I got a phone call from an infomercial company. Did you do a deal with them? We did a deal with them. We started selling. They said, we're gonna pass you on to the largest infomercial company in America. We've been in our um, agreement for three years. We've been issued uh, $800,000 in royalty payments. That in aggregate? In three years. So is it a license deal that you had for three years with this company? Yes. Is, we're in our third year. And does that run up? We gave them five years. We've been splitting it, and our deal with them ends in March. But if we renegotiate, it would end immediately. What I want to know is, does anybody else have equity? We own everything. We had an angel round investor. Uh, we paid them back with the royalty. We paid them back $300,000, and, and, and so they're, they're, they're out. out. You told me that you've done $14.2 million in sales as a product that was done by an infomercial company for you. Yes. Of that, during the same period, you collected $800,000, which is around 5.4%. Right. The reason you're here on the Carpet and Shark Tank is you want to get the lion's share of Absolutely. this now, yes. and you need yes. a partner. You're in a bad deal. That's really what this comes down to. Thank you. Do you know what it feels like to walk into Walmart? I walk into Walmart and I see 
my product and I haven't seen a dime. We have take all that money because we take half of it and pay to the first infomercial that, that brought us and we, so we give half of it to them. Our goal is to take this product, form a company, and take it to the market and start making the money ourselves. So you want, you want my 300000 to actually create a company with hire people, get yeah. warehouse space, get, get warehouse, into logistics. Manufacturing, logistics. The motivation is clear now. You want to take control of your product. Yes. Got yes. it, right? Mm -hmm. That's why you're here. How are you going to execute on that? That's what I'm not sure about. Right. So we need your, your help and resources. That's a problem. Look, I don't want to make an investment and then have to reinvent your business for you. I'm out. I look at this and say to myself, okay, I give you $300,000 and start the journey with you. 5% doesn't even get me up in the morning. Not worth it. So I gotta get some skin in the game here. I, do, I would do this deal for 20%. For me, that makes sense. And I'd be willing to do that right now and go through all of the headaches that we're gonna have, because I'm not sure these guys are gonna roll over and say, take the product away from us. I was gonna make four million on it. I'm okay with that. You're gonna need a really nasty friend, and I happen to be that person. <laughs> That's why we're here. Yeah. Listen, as, as an entrepreneur, like when I first started, I had a really big company call me, they took me to dinner, they acted like they wanted to buy me, and then a month later, they launched an $8 million ad campaign with a girl who looked exactly like me wearing a knockoff product of Spanx. So all the sweat equity you guys are putting into it, I can't imagine how I would feel if I knew that most of all that sweat equity was having to go to somebody else. I own 100% of my company. I think you can keep doing it on your own. And for that reason, I'm, I'm out. Okay. Great. Five percent's not gonna get me up in the morning, but I like the product. $300,000 for 20%. That sounds familiar. And that's exactly what his offer was. Right. I'm going to give you an offer for 300,000, but for 25%. Ooh. Lord. I, Ouch. She's going to get worse, not it's, better, doesn't it's it? Higher, it's much worse. It's higher because retail and infomercial is my sweet spot. It's an enormous job. Would anybody um, be interested in doing a deal at uh, $300,000 for 10%? For 10%? For 10%? You're treating it like it's a, a uh, new product wait, to the market. I don't, think you, I don't think you heard what we said. We gave you the offers. Fifteen percent for three hundred thousand dollars. You know the biggest complaint in hotels is clogged drains. You know, I'll be very honest. Um, I actually like that. That is a you know great what? concept. Yes, I'll do it. Do it. You have a deal. You have a deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't even ask. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm really Thank intrigued. You. I got to tell you. Thank you. You're the most cool. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Good luck. Bye. You swooped in like a buzzard on yes, a sled wagon. You had to I <laughs> like this deal. Get ready. That was insane. That was crazy. That was intense. Wow. Did you hear it? <laughs> Did you hear it? When I go into that Walmart now, now I can walk in and say, that's ours. We got it here. And we worked our little tails off to get here. And we'll be able to see the fruits of our labor. Yeah. <laughs>